guess who's back? Guess who's back? We're back. We're back on Swift. Why? It's freezing outside. It's um. We're at like minus Celsius at night, and like we might top uh, four plus during the daytime. And I'm like, no way, dude. That's uh. It was cold enough on Monday because, um, well, it, it was fine when the was sun was, was shining, but um, today's Wednesday and there's no sun, uh, so that's not working out. Um, I have to turn down the music a little bit. So, um, I just had to make the decision to get inside again, and why not? It's still fun, so... Um, um, why not like mix things up a little bit? Just be inside, be outside. So I'm gonna be here uh, today, and uh, I, I might even be here on Friday because the weather won't change until uh, next next week at some point, and the weather forecast is looking swell. So we're looking at a, a temperature uh, increase by uh, over 10 uh, degrees. So if I'm lucky, we'll I'll be out riding, uh, and I can even use my shorts. Because it might be up to 16, 17, or 18 degrees. So that's going to be swell. Um, but yeah. What do we have? What do we have, people? Um, we have 3R Racing. It's the naughty racing league. Uh, like one guy said. Because there's uh, supposed to be cheaters around here. On uh, 3R for some, for some reason. I don't understand. Uh, we're looking at uh, canopies and coastlines. Which I have done several times this season. Um, and now I know what to do and what not to do and uh, here's the trick um, you have to uh, be in the front uh, when you uh oh it's city fugger oh he's he's so he's so good oh, he, he's, did you see him the Dane oh Jesus okay so that's gonna be hard uh, I, I saw his name of oh, pumice I've, I've been with him too on Swift mind you so uh, I have friends here or uh, acquaintances right that's gonna be fun oh and Norwegian too uh, yeah so we have that and uh, here's the here's the tip uh, you need to be uh, at the front lead pack uh, by the time you uh, go up Titans Grove and you uh, start to go down the hill again otherwise you're screwed um, and I've managed to do it a few times and I have managed to not do that a few times and it depends on uh, the group how hard they push because I have a limit and uh, um, if they're at uh, well I'm not sure about their limits but uh, if I'm at my limit I can uh, manage it if they cross uh, further than what I can do uh, I'm, I'll be losing them but I'm just thinking that I'm gonna just try to give my all my absolute all up that hill and you know screw the rest uh, forget about the rest just you know try to to keep up it's really hard when you go up uh, when you go up there is the fan on yeah it is uh, yeah fan is on because it's well even if it's just four plus outside it gets warm inside pretty quickly so so that's canopies and coastlines we're looking at 27 kilometers it's not that long compared to what I do outside um, last Swift race on Friday was felt good. It felt good. So I have high hopes here. I have high hopes. And I've, uh, by the matter of a princip principle, 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 I've uh, cut my uh, access to Coke Zero um, because there's uh, people around me who says uh, I'm addicted to the stuff. Mm -hmm. So. I'm just gonna decide uh, and you know you never know uh, uh, I'm gonna cut that out for like one week or two weeks and see if, if I gain anything maybe I'll just you know gain a few watts by it in uh, honesty seriously uh, seriousness uh, no I'm not but it's fun it's fun um, so I've had uh, I've had some protein shakes I'm getting uh, quite a healthy boy here so um, Oh, I gotta give uh, I gotta give these boys here I gotta give these boys here Willie right on dude 
so fun to see uh, people I know or I've seen before. And here's Per, Per Svensson, City Fuber, right on, dude. Oh my God, he's like eight. Can I tell? He's, well, it's it's official. It's, he's 59, and he's such a good rider. I've been uh, competing with him uh, earlier this season. What a guy! What a guy! Oh, and here we have two Swedish girls. Oh, three. No, one is a girl. That's fun. Joanna, Miriam, and Mats. Maybe they're like cousins or 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 siblings or you know they have the same last name. All of them. That's so cool. Ah, oh, this is a, this is a great group of people. It's a great group of people. The only problem that I have, if there is uh, any power ups, is that I have to lean and get that thing, because oh, I ordered another one. I ordered like a quad thing, um, but right now I don't have it, so I have to uh, like bend and, and try to uh, uh, press the power on. So do I get one at the top here? I think so. I have to save that one for the sprint then, right? Yes. Um, maybe one at at the start here. So, like I said, it's all about Titans Grove. It's all about keeping keep, keeping the the intensity, uh, climbing that thing. It's not that super. It's not like super hard. It's just that it's you know people really go for it, and it requires a lot. Even for a sea rider like me, it. It really requires a lot when you do uh, canopies and coastlines. It's a, it's a fun race. It's a fun race. It's like it's not a it's not a circuit or a, like a circle thing. It's it's just a, it's just a course, and then you go down Titans Grove and you end up like by the coastline somewhere. And the sprint there is pretty good too. And ah, it's really cool with so many Scandinavians. I'm gonna give all of them a kudos here. And that might indicate, boys and girls, that summer and spring is not totally here in Scandinavia yet. Like Eric Lee said, season is over. No, it's not. Definitely not. But the amount of people here, I think we're looking at 25 people who signed on. That's pretty good, isn't it? Pretty good for a, for a late April um, race. Yeah. I have high hopes for some reason. I'm probably going to disappoint myself because it might have been a fluke. Because I felt so good on Friday, it might be, might be a fluke. I don't know. It's gonna be, it's gonna be fun. Uh, it's gonna be fun. Mm -hmm. We're like American, three Chinese people, a Norwegian, at least three Swedes, maybe four Swedes, two Danes, maybe, South Korean, people all over the place. We're gonna rock this, and I expect City Fugger to be uh, the man to beat. He will be the designated uh, favorite, because I've seen he ride. He, uh, I've seen him ride before, and uh, he's a tough nut to crack. I don't think I have, or maybe I have and I just forgot. But I, rem I remember his name, uh, Thomas uh, Willy from Germany. I don't really know. But, oh, here's the Swedish siblings or cousins or or whatever. I haven't seen that before. Um, I, I used to ride with my dad and my bro, and uh, so we were like a, like, like three people in, you know, family. So it's like, that's pretty cool. Second time I've seen that. A lot of Danes, a lot of Danes. Ah, oh, they're so hard. DBR, well, they like have their own series and stuff. Very, very hard guys to, uh, Surprisingly though, you know, they don't it really have any climbing to do in Denmark. It's flat. I've been riding there when I was a kid. It's all flat. So how can they how can they be so good? They even have like the Tour de France favorite, at least. Oh, didn't you crash? Well, I don't know. I'm not too uh, read up on, on uh, the real riding. Um, but they have such good riders. Such good riders. Okay, I have to uh, do some last minute preparations here all right uh, so I guess I'll see more of you uh, Swift guys this uh, week um, but then boys and girls it might be a race now and then but I might have will be out riding my bike 
around the area. I'm gonna go long for some ri uh, rides. Can't even you know document it all, but I'm usually filming it. Look at the downhill t stuff here. It's pretty cool. All right, so back to Swift here, Lidbrandt, Lidbrandt, P City Fuhrer. Oh, my eyes are on you, man. Ah, guy is like 20 years older than me. And so good. All right, let's go.
Come on, we'll wait.
That was fun. Didn't last.
Oh. Oh, that cost me. I was a bit slow on the on the sprint. My fault. And then I had to obviously bend forward to press the stupid button and I lost I lost a couple of tents there. But I don't think I could have done much more anyway because those guys were too strong. And I got beaten by both my friends here. The Dane and the German. Mr. Pommes and Mr. City Fuger both beat the ass out of me in the sprint. I tried. And needless to say, yes, I lost a few on the stupid punch thing because I had to bend forward, but in all honesty, I don't think it would have helped much because uh, it was really hard and I spent a lot and I covered off a few attacks and from from these Chinese people or was a Japanese or I was Japanese and then it was a Belgian and I, I fended off a few of those and started to totally feel it so. but it was it's still disappointing that uh, I couldn't uh, give uh, my two acquaintances here uh, a better fight for it so beaten by both but pretty equal anyway couldn't do much about those two who left, left us behind. I, I saw them go. And I've tried this before, you just, you just stick to people who, who just goes all out. And uh, it haven't worked. So I decided not to. And then just decided to settle for a third. And I think most people thought like that. Except for one who went with him. And they had a massive pace. And in all honesty, I would not been able to keep up with them if I had tried and I went we had one attack that we were for but neither of us were strong enough to keep it going and I tried to take lead and keep going for a little while but my my legs just didn't give me more so I couldn't really do much much about it and they we were picked up and that cost me too so a little bit unlucky a little bit stupid with the stupid phone it's gonna take a few days and I'll, I'll sort that thing out but needless to say I felt felt decent I have to say I felt good for a very long time and the, the Titans Grove climb was was a pleasure to do so I, I felt good about that it was just a pleasure to do that felt good I said that PR up there too so that was good that was so good but uh, yeah, I got a little bit on the, and oh my God, I started so early. They started at 10 kilometers. I mean, no, sorry, one kilometer. They started at one kilometer. And I, I ex my, in my head, I, I wanted to go for the sprint at 600 meters. I thought that was pretty, uh, pretty offensive. But apparently with these guys, it was defensive. So a bit of a tactical blunder or me and from there, but uh, looking bad on the replay sure I, I lost some but they caught me off guard and that was it and as you can tell by the red graph here I I, I tried and uh, lost it again so ah, not too bad I can't be displeased with it it's not too bad really so all right uh, see you Friday I think if uh, the weather doesn't uh, miraculously approve uh, uh, improve over Thursday and Friday so all right cheers boys and girls